is going on guys TJ got kicks in down here back with another video exclusively for you out there today we have got a special special review because this is a model that essentially made the TJ got got kicks 89 channel reach out to people and haters and people who say that Foot Locker kicks are fake and all that thank you thank you so much um, you made this channel what it is so today we have got a to me it's um, a special shoe because the Air Max Plus has always been very very close to me and I've always considered it to be a grail uh, only because of the technicality of the shoe and the more I learned about it the more I researched about it I kind of found out how design um, as design aesthetics essentially also play into functional aspects of how a shoe is created so today we have got the retro of the air max tn or the air max plus the tuned air in a rainbow colorway um it's interesting to see that they come in this box i've seen leaks of the the og purple that's going to be re-releasing -re sometime soon within this year and they also come in this same um, i call this the jordan 12 or the Nike brown box with a big swoosh. Um, you've seen this for my Jordan 12 um, China edition. It's the same thing, just replace the swoosh here with Jumpman and it, it, copyright things everywhere the same. Um, obviously, this doesn't have to be <clears throat> So, let us look at the shoe. Do you guys like it? You guys like it? Uh, of course, I see. I seen the shoe when I bought it obviously. So um, this was copped on sale from Foot Locker um, Sunway Pyramid. It's a Foot Locker exclusive. Sorry, Foot Locker. Sorry, wait. Yeah, Foot Locker exclusive. Hmm. Um, and this was for the price of four ninety five, I believe. But do just check out, check that out, man. The way that. The Air Max Plus is constructed, it, it's a roadman shoe nonetheless whatsoever but um, there's some features in this specific colorway that I prefer more than the the Shark or the uh, the one that goes from light blue to gradient, it, it fades off to a white I think but I love this colorway because um, uh, my girlfriend endorses it so thanks Chicken for approving of this pickup she doesn't approve of my other pickup but she did approve of this one so um, it's basically an Air Max Plus, right? You see the waves, you see the, the dolphin tails, the shark fin tails, or the palm trees waving in um, being um, bonded onto the upper. That's what you see right there. This, I think, with the wearability that I had with the OG Dawn colorway, they didn't peel off, but they kind of, um, they just sort of, became more matte because of uh, the elements that it, that the shoe was exposed to. I wore them in rainy conditions, sunny conditions. Check out the um, update video where I also showed off the uh, Tiger colorway or the yellow pimento colorway of the Air Max Plus OG run from 2018 to 2019. Um, basically, you have a mesh upper which goes from this yellow to this orange to this fuchsia or uh, what's it called? Hot pink? Please don't say it's hot pink it's raspberry red varsity red gold raspberry red so this raspberry red um, it fades off into this purple just at the back just right there um, you see the TPU um, support panels like I said with some reflective strips on the front just right there that's three um, you've got the modified swoosh which is a smaller version of the swoosh not initially approved by the Bowman Inc for other people at Bowman Drive but eventually it made its way onto the shoe and made it what it is today. You've got the uh, synthetic uh, suede, this is actually new box just running from the bottom part of the panel leading all the way to the back where you can see the TN or Tuned Air logo just right there on the heel jellied up just right there just like how me and everyone else love it. Um, on the same thing that you get on this side, same thing you get on this side um, if you actually notice where well, I'll point that out later but you have for the tongue some more reflective strips uh, apparently you're supposed to be running towards traffic when you're running at night um, with that same gradient colorway going up to the synthetic nubuck 
at the top with another air logo jellied up right there on the inside let's take a look at the inside Jom tengok. you have a black tongue for the back i love that but what i do not love is the um the white um heel collar lining which is obviously going to yellow and collect sock bubbles yadi 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 so um yeah what well, what do you want to do about it right um on the inside uh, let's just see if i can take this off i don't think i can yes um it's not the same anatomical insole that you get for an air max plus because for the og colorways you had um similar to the air max 1995 um anniversaries anniversary sorry the big bubbles whatsoever but you basically had a perforated insole with flex grooves and also you had a part where you could insert an arch support but what i do love about this insole is the fact that it's yellow um the, the cloth the sock liner is yellow and you can see a little um tech spec or a breakdown or a cross section or what the air max unit would look like if you were to look at it directly so um that's the insole so let's talk about the technical features of the shoe like i said the t the tpu support unit the the internal lacing with the white laces i forgot to mention that earlier you've got a nice little mud guard or a protective white plastic which will cloud over time but this prevents um further rippage of the mesh obviously mesh is in that strong material so having that bonded to the front is going to add more structure and also just protect the shoe a little bit more um i wanted to point out that the midsole of this specific air max plus colorway kind of looks like they protruded the heel just a little bit so it looks a little bit more substantive and it looks as if like the bubbles are really really just like sticking out from that angle and from that angle as well um so you get the the different psis for the air max you've got the biggest psi here for the heel um and for this the lateral medial or the outside side of the heel you have um, chambered units in the front these are not a continuous um i don't think they were yes i believe they aren't a continuous um, air unit but it is actually just two pieces just bonded into that midsole the midsole feels really nice and soft um it's a eva midsole or a molded injected phylon i think um i do remember the og retros just sort of being a little bit more firm on this side these do feel firm um once i put them on but um i believe they do break in very very nicely and you'll get a much more cushion feel because i used to run in these um on this side you can see the tech of the air max plus which is basically these conical units bringing you guys to the heel now which basically provides support and does not compress easily so that just provides stability um, for over pronators apparently for the midfoot you have a shank which is like the shark tail section of the shoe and this is a nice gradient colorway from that red to the yellow and you can see the tn logo just right there you've got the lug pattern for the outsole inspired very much by the waffle tread that uh, was initially on mr uh, Phil Knight, um, uh, Phil Knight's, uh, all, all Phil Knight's earlier shoes had like this waffle tread, basically. I, I call it a waffle tread because it was literally from a waffle press. But you do get these lugs and these tips and nibs just to sort of help with durability and wearability in the long run. On the heel, you have uh, larger lugs, obviously, because you don't need that much down there. But you can kind of see how the... Um, it, it's one of the most beautiful outsoles on a shoe. I, I'll stop there. Um, for the purposes of this video, I'll try to get um, B rolls much like how I used to film them POV on the floor of my bedroom here, just to kind of give you guys a much more personal, intimate perspective onto what I see when I look at the shoe. So that will hopefully be all. I don't think I've covered, I've missed out anything else. Aside from this, is a pretty kick ass looking shoe, having it for sale is obviously the better thing to have um i didn't manage to cop two pairs because i um, i've stopped doing a, a double up for the longest time hopefully enough money to get married soon but um this is the air max plus rainbow this is the retro in released i think around the summer 
June, July, September 2003 date. Um, and this has been your boy TJ Got Kicks 89. Please stay tuned for my videos. Happy 2024, everyone. Um, thanks for staying tuned to my channel. This shoe made my channel what it is. I don't monetize my YouTube, but um, this shoe made me outreach a lot of you guys out there. And I hope you enjoy this one. I hope you managed to get this on sale or whatsoever. TJ Got Kicks 89, finally signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.